going to post my project of the week, which is this sweater right here. And I realize that some of you might not know how to do the knit two together and the yarn over, which is the stitches that we use to create this pattern right here and here. All this. Um, that's that's the only pattern we use in this sweater, along with the stocking and stitch. So. Um, I'm going to show you in this little video how to do the two stitches together and the yarn over. <clears throat> the first one is going to be the yarn over and to do that I'm holding my needles just like the normal uh, knit. Uh, as you can see that was the garter stitch right there and then the stocking knit stitch and pattern and then on the next one is going to be a yarn over. To do the yarn over you simply, just like it sounds, put the yarn over your needle. That's it. Then the next stitch is going to be the two together. To do the two together, you insert the needle into two stitches instead of one and knit them together. Then it's going to be again a yarn over and then a knit two together. Yarn over, knit two together. Yarn over, knit two together. And if I continue like that to the end, Actually, I'm going to do it real quick so I can show you what do you do on the other side. You turn it around and on the wrong side of the knitted fabric, you just simply knit every stitch, including the yarn overs. So you knit this one, there was two stitches and now it's just one. Then you knit into this yarn over, just like purl stitch, just like normal purl stitch. And you just knit every stitch. I mean purl every stitch, of course. Knit them using the purl stitch. So, if I turn it around just to show it, you how, what it does. The yarn over creates kind of like the hole, and then the two stitches together just come together and create the a fabric that's gonna look just like there in my sweater. And that's it. See you in the next video.